What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on the video today, what we're gonna be working on is a fashion mullet. Hey, Yes, I said mullet. It's not that scary. This is a pretty cool fashionable haircut. Now you gotta pick and choose what client's gonna want this haircut, but the techniques that are involved in creating this look can be used in any haircut. So even if this is not the specific end result you're looking for, if you're looking to learn about layers, disconnection, how to cut a fringe, this is still the perfect video for you. So as I go through this haircut, take each little bit step by step, Put it in your toolbox. You can use it later in all the different haircuts that you do. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Also, guess what? Bonus, at the end of this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a color to put over as well. We're gonna do a rose gold finish on this haircut. So, hope you like it. Let's get started. Here we go. All right, guys, so to start off this technique, what we're gonna be doing is creating a horseshoe shape uh, on top of the head. We're gonna go below parietal ridge, so right around the edge of the eyebrow, and then uh, around the mid-crown area, and then all the way back around to the opposite side. Then we find the division point, which is basically separating the front and the back of the head. Now, one thing I want you to notice is where does that line come down? It comes down right on the hairline, which allows me to work with a consistent density in the back of the head, and then a consistent density in the front of the head. So now we're gonna work vertical sections. I'm gonna pull it straight out from the head shape. So we're gonna be following the head shape on this. Also, we're working with a traveling guide. So as I cut this, I move uh, about a half an inch over, and then I take a section, about a half an inch section, and I bring it to the previous section. And then I continue that on, I cut that section in half, and I keep working all the way over to behind the ear throughout the back of the head shape. The other thing I want you to notice here is that my line stays pretty consistent. So from that round of the head at the very top, at that mid crown area, I start cutting a consistent line all the way down, and then it's gonna get longer because the head shape starts to curve under. So right at the occipital bone area where the head starts to curve down towards the nape, uh, what happens is that hair is gonna get longer and longer, which is what starts to create that mullet effect. Also, I'm doing a point cutting technique uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to create a ton of texture in this cut. I want that movement. I want the softness of it. Um, harsh lines could be fine uh, depending on the density. So if they had fine hair, maybe I'll go a little bit harder with the lines um, because hard lines and fine hair still look like texture. Um, but in thick hair, I need to soften it up a little bit. I don't want it building up too much. So I go in with a point cutting technique. Notice how I'm going around the round of the head uh, as I get to behind the ear. Uh, we're going to do some fun things when we get to that temple area. So that's where the haircut will change, but we're going to stay pretty consistent over the next few sections as we get over there. Now I'm just going to continue working and I'm going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side. So now because I cut the back in a vertical uh, pattern, now I'm going to check it horizontally. So I bring everything up and just check the balance. As I work into the sides, you're going to notice that my finger angle is going to shift into more of a concave layer and I'm going to work all the way across. Now I don't want to cut all the way to the baseline. So what I'm doing is I'm splitting this section in half. I'm keeping from the temple down disconnected. Uh, so I keep that length so you can see it there and then I elevate everything up, cut a concave layer into it. Now I've got that length, which I'm gonna show you guys what we do with it 
at the end. So I wanna cut into the left side, I'm gonna do the same exact thing, working that concave layering, uh, working that point cutting, and then as I move over top of the ear, I'm gonna disconnect that temple area. So now my elevation is up, cutting concave, basically parallel to the floor, uh, get that last little bit, and now I've got my disconnection. Now, to take care of that disconnection, I'm gonna do some slide cutting to match up the lengths. The reason slide cutting was great here instead of just elevating the hair and cutting it is that this is gonna keep some of that density, some of that density that we lose if we elevate there and it matches up more for the rest of the haircut. So the front and the back kind of have the same feel. Now, as we work into the top, notice my finger angle. It starts shorter and then gets longer towards the end of my finger more towards my palm. So I elevate the hair straight up in the air and I cut short to long, creating extra length in the front. That extra length we're gonna be cutting into to cut the fringe, but that extra length gives me more density to work with. So if you have a guest with finer hair, you would probably wanna add a little extra length to the front of this haircut. If they have super thick hair, you're gonna wanna take away some of that length. So I would go a little more rounded following the round of the head. So play it off of your guest density. That's what's uh, great about this haircut and really working on a mannequin is being able to share with you guys those multiple ways to do things. If I have a guest in here, I gotta cater to exactly what she needs. For this, we need to talk about versatility because these haircuts don't fit everyone. Um, if I do it on one person, it might not work on another. So you gotta understand the density of the hair that you're working with, the formation of the hair that you're working with, and then you're gonna have a lot more success behind the chair. Now I'm gonna do a quick dry using my hand. I really wanna pull in some of the natural texture. This haircut is all about natural, right? So I don't want to stretch it out with an iron too much. I go in with my Donald Scott carving comb, which is available on freesaloneducation.com if you wanna purchase one. They're 39 bucks. Uh, it's got a 50% cutting side, which is what I go through and cut because that's going to make it nice and soft. And then I've got a hundred percent cutting side that I go in and just kind of detail that face frame around the face. Now we're going to go in using the rose gold, uh, Joyco color intensity and bam, you can see, uh, how that pop of color just really brings this haircut to life. I uh, hope you guys like this video. I hope you like the haircut. It's definitely super kind of rocker uh, vibe to it. Uh, it's not for everybody, but the techniques can be done on anybody. So I hope you guys like the video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.